The 82-year-old Nongubela Ndamasa is the widow of an Apla combatant. Her husband Masangini died while in exile in 1970 and was buried in Babane in Eswatini. She is one of many who are yearning for the repatriation of their fallen loved ones from the countries including Tanzania, Mozambique and Zambia. I'm old. One foot is already in the grave. <laughs> but I would like my, my husband's body to be repatriated, reburied in Pisana in a decent manner, as I can see others being reburied. That is my wish. So that my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren can see that this is uh, our great-grandfather's grave. And at the same time, I'm making history, because this is history. She says her husband is lying in a clearly marked grave, making for an easy repatriation. I managed to do a tombstone. He is in Mamane Cemetery. He has got a headstone there. I did it, then I came back. I even when I came here, I even tried after the unpanning of the of the of the freedom fighters of the parties, PAC and ANC as far as I know, to take my family there to show them the, the tombstone because I didn't know how many years were left with me so that the children might identify his place. It's so easy. Siabongam Timbana was an APLA operative. He says since their return to South Africa, they have been treated unfairly by the government. We were all in the liberation struggle. We fought for the freedom, but now we are just sidelined. We are traumatized. We are victims of the apartheid system. As I am talking to you right now, I am living with disability. I do not have a leg. I lost the use of my arm, but by the grace of God, we are surviving. All of them, Mozambique, we don't even know what happened to them. And families are calling the one their loved ones. As takes free Dabak Fuchana Eshel. John Nyati Pogela, the former chairman of the PC, who was buried and given a state funeral in Zimbabwe. It is difficult to exhume a lot of them. Edwin Magoti and, other, and others are in Zimbabwe. Abo Twainga are in Tanzania. Soldiers are all over Africa. And, and we are really trying our best. The provincial government says the repatriation process is ongoing and the remains of the foreign combatants will be brought back. We have been repatriating people, uh, remains of our people from exile. We are still continuing. We have a policy in place. We have got a program in place. We have just actually reduced the number of people that were repatriating a year because of the lack of budget. But the program continues. And even this year, we should be repatriating people. We were just disrupted by COVID and because of the movement in the world as well as in the continent. Most of those um, uh, remains are in the continent. Some are in other European countries, but we are still doing that as provincial government of Eastern Cape. The affected families want the process to be expedited, as many have been waiting for decades. They believe it will help them find closure and put the atrocities of apathy behind them.